This is Simon. No, wait, Simon. Huh? We're over here, buddy. Too far. Come back. 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 And stop. Perfect. Say hi to everyone, Simon. Hey. Simon gets confused about a lot of things. One of the things that confuses Simon is God. Hmm. He knows God exists, but apart from that, he's not sure about much else. He's heard him described with big words like omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. But to be honest, that all confuses Simon just a little bit more. Simon wants to know more about God, so he asks questions like, who is God? And how big and powerful is God? Well, Simon, today we have a story that's going to help you out. Do you want to hear it? Uh, yeah. In the beginning, God created everything. Everything? Yeah, everything. He even created people, two to be exact, Adam and Eve. They lived in this place called the Garden of Eden, and it was perfect. They got to live in paradise. The Bible even says that they got to walk with God. But God did tell Adam and Eve that there was one tree in the garden that they could not eat from, and it was called the Tree of the Knowledge of Good and Evil. Talk about an awesome name for a tree. They could eat from any other tree in the garden except for this one. This was all that God asked them not to do. Seems pretty easy, right? Uh -huh. But even though we might think this was an easy choice, there was a very persuasive snake in the garden. A talking snake? That's right, a snake that could talk. This snake convinced them to eat from the tree that they weren't supposed to eat from. Immediately, they knew they had done wrong. They had sinned. Adam and Eve had chosen their way over God's way. And with that sin brought pain, sickness, death, and all sorts of bad things into a once perfect world. But worst of all, it disconnected Adam and Eve from God. But it wasn't just Adam and Eve who got disconnected. We all did. And there is no possible way any of us could ever reconnect with God on our own. But God had a plan. God loved Adam and Eve and all of us so much that he already had a plan in place to beat this sin that had now taken over the world. God is so big and so powerful that he knew exactly how to beat sin. Hmm. Wait, Simon, what is that? You mean a potato? Well, yes, he's bigger than a potato, obviously. And you microwave? Yes, he's bigger than a microwave. You mean a gas? Yeah, he's, he's bigger than a couch, but how are you carrying that couch? Oh, I see. Well, as I was saying, God, being the biggest and most powerful God that you could ever think of, loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus down to earth to beat sin. Isn't he a baby? Yes, Simon, he did start as a baby, but he didn't stop there. Jesus lived a perfect life and eventually paid the price for our sins. The Bible says that the price for our sins was death. So Jesus was crucified and died for us. Whoa, Simon, it's okay, buddy. Huh? Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later, he was raised back to life. And because Jesus was raised back to life, we can have a new life reconnected with God. The connection that Adam and Eve had lost is now given back to each and every one of us through Jesus. You see, Simon, there's nothing bigger or more powerful than God. God is the creator of the universe. He knows everything. He knew that Adam and Eve would sin, and he knew that we would sin. And he gave us Jesus to beat that sin, oh. the biggest problem of all. Yeah. God is bigger and more powerful than anything you could ever think of. Wow. Well, can I fly? No, Simon. Butter can't fly. It's called a butterfly because I'll tell you later. Say bye, Simon. Bye. Oh, Simon. 